Well, I'm Christian French, and this is uh, my installation here at the corner of Roosevelt and Northeast 66. This is the site of the Link Light Rail, the future Roosevelt station for Sound Transit. This installation is part of Sound Transit's public art program. And this is a series of charcoal drawings that I've done and turned into etched stainless steel plates that people can come and make rubbings from. And so the essential process is people can bring their own paper and their own medium and then go home with a work of art or six works of art. These drawings are from a series of old tools that I've collected. There are a lot of tools that are sort of obscure to us. You know, it used to be everybody had a hammer, everybody had a saw. Nowadays, you, you, you can function in our world without a coping saw, without tin snips, without fencing pliers. You know, who knows what fencing pliers are now these days? You know, so it's what used to be juxtaposed against what's coming. And what do we use to build the future? I think it's important in art to give people a way in. So being able to participate is a way in. Making an artwork that is pointing to the world we shape and the way we shape it through these tools, that also gives you a way to interact with the work and take the work home. That's nice and waxy. Maybe they never know that tools are a metaphor for the body. Doesn't matter. Maybe they only do one and they hang it on their wall. Doesn't matter. Maybe they throw it out. Doesn't matter. All I'm trying to do is set up the opportunity for people to engage. So pretty much you can use anything you want. The basic ingredients are paper and some kind of medium. So you got different kinds of paper, you got newsprint, you got sketch paper, you got tracing paper, you got copying paper, oil pastels, charcoal, graphite. You can pretty much use whatever you want. Uh, I've used beets, I've used carrots. Beets are better. Pretty much you want your paper to be tight up against the, the plate. Here's graphite, here's charcoal, here's a rubbing crayon, and oil pastel. This is what graphite looks like. This is charcoal. Rubbing crayon is a little waxier. And then, you know, oil pastel has a real buttery quality to it and allows you to bring color in. I have to say that the first day we, we came out here and had it up, I was surprised by how many people came up with ideas that I hadn't thought of. I mean, here I am, I care about the tools, I care about the drawings, I care about the finished prints. I make, I make rubbings that are single tools. But, you know, I'm not really much of a printmaker, so it didn't occur to me that you could move it and do it again. It didn't occur to me that you could move it and get two tools on one print. It didn't occur to me that you could move it and make Franken tools. And, and that's, you know, that just speaks to how clever everybody is, you know? You, you can give people the ball, but you have no idea where they're gonna run with it. A lot of the work that I do, I see as about trying to illustrate relationships, ways to give tangible or visual expression to the dynamics of how everything is related and that, and that ultimately everything is related. There is a phrase, all 10,000 things reveal great radiance. And the, the essential point of that is a vision, an understanding of the world that everything is interconnected and that, that the, the phenomenal world that is experienced as different points becomes a unified whole and expresses the sort of radiance of unity. And that's, you know, mostly informed from a Buddhist perspective. You know, how do you take that understanding? How do you take that position that says everything is connected? And how do you embed that into people's daily experience? Public art is about embedding meaning into people's travels, essentially. You can use just this edge, and, and you'll, the minute you start working with it, you'll, you'll feel how, how buttery it is. Okay. So you 
you just have to, I'm trying to remember what mine looks like. It's extremely satisfying. It's like magic. I love the feel of it. There's, there's something very satisfying about making the rubbing or making a print. And, um, you know, it's hard to know when to stop.